Hello, our young readers. Today, I'm going to share a story with you about a whale, a whale of a tail. How many of you have ever heard of a whale? Has anybody ever heard the song of a whale? Let's see if this sounds familiar. Pretty neat, right? I wonder what the whale was saying. Well, today you're gonna to learn about the largest whale. It's called the blue whale. And I'm gonna show you the story of a whale um, that is actually a model in the Museum of Natural Science. And then we'll take a few minutes to count the whales. All right, so let's go to a whale of a tail. A whale of a tail, the largest mammal at the museum, is interviewed by the largest dinosaur. So this is a conversation between a titanosaur and a blue whale. Good morning, blue whale. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. It's an honor. The blue whale says, thanks, titanosaur. The honor is all mine. You can just call me blue. Titanosaur says, we'll do blue. Wow, you're big. I'm pretty big myself. I'm 37 meters long, but you might be even bigger. Blue whale says, well, you're definitely a lot longer. I'm only 29 meters long. Titanosaur says, so blue, here's something I've been wondering. Many of the other animals here in the museum are actually specimens. Some are shells and fossils and others are animal skins that have been preserved and stuffed. Many of my bones are exact replicas of real fossils. What about you? Are you a real blue whale? Goodness, no. You've, you'd never be able to hang a real blue whale from the ceiling. They can weigh as much as 370,000 pounds. That's as heavy as 28 African elephants. Blue whales are the largest animals that ever lived on Earth. Look at that. That's huge. A titanosaur says, wow, that's much more massive than a dinosaur whose fossils I was molded after. With flesh and bones, scientists think that the titanosaur only weighed 70 tons or 140,000 pounds. Blue says, it was a shrimp. I was a shrimp compared to a blue whale. Speaking of shrimp, blue whales eat small shrimp-like creatures called krill. Each whale eats about 40 million krill a day. That's a gigantic mouthful of seawater with krill swimming in it. Then they shut their mouths and push the water out through their bristle-like teeth, which are made of stiff but flexible stuff called baleen. The krill get caught behind the baleen and dinner is served. Look at that. Here's a picture of the whale. And these are all the krill, millions of them. Bon appetit. So, Titanosaur wants to know if Blue Whale is cast just like him. Blue Whale says, no, I'm not a cast. I'm a model that artists have made based on real Blue Whale specimens. I'm made from foam and fiberglass on top of an iron frame, and I'm hollow inside, mostly. As a model, I'm lighter than a real blue whale, but I still weigh 21,000 pounds. Oh my goodness. That's still pretty heavy, says Titanosaur. How come you don't fall off the ceiling? Well, I'm connected to the roof by a sturdy steel of pipe, says the blue whale. That must be a big pipe, says Titanosaur. 
Not at all. It's only 16 inches thick, but it doesn't do all the work. It's connected to other steel bars and structures in the ceiling, which help, which help to transfer my weight all over. Here you can see this is the model whale that we're talking about here. Look at that. And this is the museum. How many of you have been to a museum? Has anybody seen the large blue whale at the Nat National Science Museum? Hmm. This is another picture showing the blue whale in the museum. Here's another one. Look at that. Let's look at the video of a blue whale swimming in the ocean. Wouldn't you want to go swimming with that? I don't know. So when they make a model, they make a lot of changes and this blue whale had to be painted. The blue whale says oh, lots of things had to be changed. My, they flattened my bulgy eyes. They tapered my tail and made my blow holes more accurate. They repainted my skin. It took about 25 gallons of paint. And my favorite part, they finally gave me a belly button. Wow, Titanosaurus says, I don't have one of these. Of course not. Dinosaurs hatch from eggs. Only mammals have belly buttons. Besides, you're, you're a skeleton. Skeletons definitely don't have belly buttons. Titanosaur says, they did a great job with your paint. How do you keep the dust off? Blue Whale says, thanks. I get a bath once a year, whether I need it or not. A bath? Really? I didn't know a museum had a tub that big. The blue whale explains that it's not exactly a tub and it takes a long time to get scrubbed down. And this is a short clip showing how the blue whale model gets scrubbed down. You see? I hope you'll enjoyed that little short story and enjoyed learning about how a model is made to recreate what a real blue whale looks like. You saw that it was very, very large, um, and you learned that whales also eat krill, and they weigh a lot. So let's count a couple of whales. Who can tell me how many whales you see here? One, awesome. How many whales do you see in this picture? Yep, just one. How about here? One, two, three, four, five whales. Excellent. How about here? One and two. These are beluga whales. How about in this one? We've got a different types of whales in this picture. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven whales. Excellent. Thank you so much for counting with me today and learning about whales. Parents, thank you for joining me in this short little video. And um, if you would like to learn more about whales with your kiddo, take some time to visit one of these websites. And here you can learn more about the different types of whales, like information related to the number of species that exist um, and the different types of whales and kids you can learn about any one of these whales that you're more interested in by just clicking on the picture look at all these different types of beautiful whales okay parents you can also make a craft with your kids from mamateaches.com and there are a lot of different whale crafts that you can do um, so pick one and if you have the materials have some fun with whales and learn some more um, facts about these beautiful amazing creatures thank you